Today we're going for a detailed walkthrough of the freshly unveiled VCore 4 and we have 5 IDEX upgrades to give away, so make sure you stick around until the end. Hi everyone, we just got back from the Rocky Mountain Rap Rap Festival in Colorado. The festival was a huge success. It was the VCore 4 world premiere and we had thousands of people coming across the country to visit the festival, some of them who came specifically to see a VCore 4 in person. We got to hang out with really cool people from the space, including CNC Kitchen, Neuro 3D, Vector 3D, Sam Prentice, 3D Printing Nerd, so many people, Modbot, but, oh my god, it was really crazy. Uh, a lot of these YouTubers uh, created content on the festival and they are going to be covering the Vcore 4. So we're linking all of their channels in the description so you can follow them and make sure that you uh, stay tuned for all the content Vcore 4 related that they're going to be publishing. We really want to thank our partner Fabrico for making this happen with us. Uh, it was an amazing experience and on our last day we even got to experience a little bit of American life and culture. We went to Walmart, we went to Micro Center, and we even got to go to a shooting range where Nero 3D taught me how to handle an AK-47, something I was not at all expecting to be happening in this trip. Meanwhile, uh, back in Spain, our partner Porta Xavi 3D took a VCore 4 to the 3D printer party in Madrid. I'm told it was a huge success too, and I would like to thank this partner as well. It's the fourth episode of Rat Rig TV on the fourth month of the year 2024. It's only fitting that this one is going to be dedicated to VCore 4. So let's go for a walkthrough, shall we? So first things first, we just published the CAD model and the STL files on our documentation page linked in the description. Make sure to check them out. And later this week, we're going to be publishing the build guide for the vCore 4. Make sure to check it out. Now, standing behind me are two different modes of the vCore 4. As you may know, one of the features we're the proudest of on this new machine is that we have three modes of operation that are super easy to swap between each other. So the standard machine has the regular Core XY kinematics that we've seen on all other previous vCore machines. But now we've introduced the hybrid machine and the Hydex machine. These are two new modes. And why did we come up with them? So on a Core XY kinematics, uh, you're going to have two motors to drive the X and Y axis. But actually, these two axes are not the same at all. The X axis is just a tool head. It's a very light mass to move, while the Y axis moves an entire gantry. So it's much, much heavier. For this reason, Core XY kinematics are typically bottlenecked by the Y axis. Now, what if you could give it a little performance boost? That's exactly what the hybrid mode does. It introduces two new motors that are mounted at the back of the machine. Then we route a new set of belts using these printed parts to connect them. And these two extra motors give the Y-axis a boost that effectively doubles the acceleration and this allows you to achieve a lot higher speeds, better performance, more precision, more accuracy, and truly unlock the performance of this machine. And you can very easily install the hybrid mode as an upgrade kit directly on the machine that you've already built. Now let's say that you've converted your standard machine into a hybrid machine, but now you want to go for IDEX. It's as simple as adding a second tool head, rerouting the belt, adding a couple of woos guards, adding these nozzle brushes for the IDEX machine, and then at the back, you're gonna have a new camera module 
for the visually assisted offset calibration. So again, it's just a matter of adding a few parts and you're gonna have an IDEX machine and there's an up a progressive upgrade path to turn one version of the machine into other. Now, about uh, offset calibration on IDEX, this has always been a point of struggle of many, many users. And this is one of the things that we are really excited about on the IDEX machine, is that we're gonna be using the visually assisted offset calibration to uh, determine the offset in X and Y for the two tool heads. And then at the back, we also have a limit switch, a mechanical limit switch, that allows you to calibrate the difference in height between the two tool heads. And this way you have semi-automatic offset calibration, which is always a pain for IDEX users. And it's something that we really worked hard on this machine to make it as painless as possible for you. One of the IDEX features we are proudest of is the new tool shift technology that allows the two tool heads to swap positions so fast that there's no drop in pressure in the nozzle so you'll never use a wipe tower again. It's really super fast IDEX and it's something to behold really. There's also some neat software tricks that allow for automatic copy and mirror mode, meaning you don't need to manually set the position of your copies or mirrors. The software does all of that automatically. What about Z calibration? Well, these pre-production units come mounted with the Super Pinda, which is a great probe, but for the V-Core 4, great was not enough. We wanted to go with the very best, so we are super excited to share that we've partnered up with Beacon 3D and we are bringing the Beacon to the V-Core 4. This is the fastest, most precise, highest resolution probe on the market today. And in just a few weeks, it's gonna be updated with, via firmware update with the Beacon Contact. This is a touch system for the nozzle to find the true zero on your machine that uses very low force. We're talking about about 20 grams of force, which is like 50 times less than competing products. This is a super exciting thing. And one of the advantages of the Beacon Contact is that it allows you to use your probe in any surface. It doesn't necessarily need to be a metal surface, which is one of the requirements of the Super Pinda. So the three different modes of the machine all share the exact same frame. We are calling it the universal frame and it uh, accommodates extra space on the sides and at the back, not only for the IDEX features, like the ooze guards and the uh, nozzle brushes and the uh, mo uh, camera module. Uh, this space can also be used to put a lot of uh, spool holders inside the machine, particularly on the bigger sizes. And we are also gonna come up with a multi-material upgrade uh, very soon, which is something that is going to fit on this uh, side space and also a HEPA and a carbon filter and an active heater. So uh, at the moment, the machine is only passively heated by the heat pad, but if you want to go for higher temperatures, you're gonna need some active he heating and the heater can be fitted inside this extra space. So there's a lot of room in there to accommodate a lot of upgrades that we are gonna be delivering over the course of this year. The V-Core 4 universal frame is much easier to put together than in any previous version of the V-Core. Right now we're using milled extrusions which are precisely cut to really help you align and square the machine and it uses a system of quick connectors that are super easy to put together. Everything is pre-machined and you just need to add the quick connectors, align the frame and everything fits together perfectly. It's super easy to put it together. And the side effect of using this frame system is that you get to enclose the machine by using rectangular panels that don't require any type of CNC machining or laser to cut them, so they are super easy and affordable to locally source. They also offer much better sealing than ever before, and we are really happy about the way the enclosure works on this setup. Another feature that really helps with the alignment and squaring of things is the new base plate. So this is a steel plate that already comes included in the kit and that uh, already has the holes for aligning the Z drive. So the three motors of the Z drive are going to be mounted directly to this plate. So full metal motor mounts on the Z drive uh, that already have the positioning 
uh, perfectly uh, uh, aligned to make sure that your Z drive is completely uh, where it should be. Uh, one of the side effects of using this base plate is that the motors are now outside of the chamber and this allows them to be protected from the high temperatures. When it comes to the XY gantry, we also have full metal motor mounts uh, at the back. Uh, the motor shafts are completely supported by the metal plates. We have metal on the XY joiners and we have the new metal front tensioner that not only provides a lot more rigidity, but also allows you to tension the belts very easily uh, with just adjusting uh, the tension here on these screws. So this is a, a lot more metal on the inside of the machine. There's even metal on the V-Core 2 head. So there's a metal skeleton that serves as a, a structure uh, for, for the tool head, which is also super compact and uh, fits everything together really nicely. This is a design that we've been working on since last year. Uh, it, we have published it as the V-Core 3 toolhead, and now it has come to V-Core 4 with a lot of polishes. Uh, it comes with a Rapido uh, hotend and the Orbiter Extruder, which are really great for high flow. And this is what we want on a performance machine just like this one. And of course, it comes with a, a, a mount for the EBB toolboard which really allows for much easier wiring of all your tool head uh, electronics and much easier maintenance too. We have also upgraded the limit switches on the V-Core 4. They are now high precision Omron end stops and they come with a plug and play connector for really easy wiring. The printed Z-arms have long fasteners acting like a reinforcement to the structure, providing a lot more rigidity to the printed part. And inside they have a decoupler, just like on the V-Core 3, that prevents any wobble on the lead screw to be transferred to the bed, eliminating any Z-wobble issues. The bed system is the exact same as on the V-Core 3. We have three mounting points connected to three motors. This allows for auto bed leveling. And of course, the bed is not rigidly constrained to the mounting points, allowing it to expand as it heats up. We really focused on user experience on V-Core 4. So in addition to the step-by-step -step build guides, wiring guide and commissioning guides, we also have uh, profiles for all the most popular slicers for many different types of settings to make it so much easier to set up. And most importantly, vCore 4 is launching with RATOS 2.1. And this version of RATOS is really something else. You now have a setup wizard that basically does everything for you. And it comes with a lot of new features many of them dedicated to IDEX. We will really have to make more videos to talk about that because it's just amazing how automatic everything works now, but also some really cool new features like resonance analysis that allows you to isolate each axis on your machine to troubleshoot any type of resonance problems you may have. One of the things that we really worked hard on the V-Core 4 was to make the electronics kit as comprehensive as possible with every wire included, pre-crimped and pre-cut whenever uh, possible, um, every connector included, cable management solutions already thought out out of the box, and of course this beautifully machined uh, metal case, in this case it's a pre-production unit, so it's still made of acrylic, but in the production units this is going to be a metal case uh, that really makes all the electronics very neat and tidy inside an enclosure that has active cooling with three 5015 fans. These fans are connected to a small PCB board that then connects to the main board, making the wiring very, very convenient. There's small details like, for example, this AC cover that for safety reasons protects the high voltage electronics. There's also mounting points for both the SK RAT and the Octopus board, and an IEC switch for you to connect your power cord that only has three pins, making it far easier to wire than the previous version that had five pins. Similar to previous versions of the V-Core, the V-Core 4 is a highly configurable kit. It comes in three different cubic volumes, 300, 400, and 500 millimeters. Standing behind me is the 300 size machine. Bear in mind that it goes much bigger than what you see here. And also you can configure a lot of things from electronics and other options we have in the configurator, or you can buy a full kit if that's what you prefer. Uh, the enclosing panels do not come included in the kit, uh, with the exception of the base panel, but because the kit is so much more complete than ever before, in particular when it comes to the electronics, and if you account for the fact that the enclosing panels are now 
far cheaper to source than ever before. Everything uh, accounted for this machine ends up being actually a bit cheaper than Vcore 3, which is also something that we are super excited about. We've been receiving a lot of questions about upgrading the Vcore 3 to Vcore 4. Here at Retrig, we don't like leaving our existing users behind, so we're actively listening to the community and understanding what type of features you find more important and studying how to port them back to the vCore 3 platform. In the meantime, if you'd like to go for a full upgrade kit, what we've done is we debundled the bed plate from the vCore 4 mechanical kit, meaning the mechanical kit by itself already works as kind of a full upgrade kit for vCore 3 users, in which you get to reuse the bed plate you already have, along with all the electronics, which are the most expensive components on the 3D printer. So that's the option you have for now. But don't worry, rest assured, we're working very hard to port some of those features back to the vCore 3 platform. More news coming soon. We sent out an early bird offer to our early bird subscribers and were taken by surprise when every single machine sold out in less than 48 hours. Some of our early birds weren't early enough to secure a machine for themselves. Well, we are now working hard to process that queue. We didn't take your payments as we told you. We are going to be uh, requesting payment as we are ready to uh, start shipping orders. And we expect to start asking for the first payments next week and start with the first shipments on the following week. Please be patient if you haven't received the payment request just yet. We are going to be processing the queue by the order it was uh, received. On the early bird we also had a giveaway and I'm very happy to congratulate Samuel Lazia, I hope I'm not butchering your name, uh, who won a Vcore 4 mechanical kit. We will be contacting you soon so you can claim this prize. Uh, when it comes to Vcore 4 wide availability, today we opened reservations on our website so you can now put yourself on the queue to reserve a Vcore 4. I want to be very clear, we are not taking any payments at this point in time, we just want to build a queue so we can plan our production and we will be requesting payments as the machines are made available. On these reservation pages, we are going to keep an updated estimate of the lead time for new reservations. So keep in mind that over time this number may change, but it always applies to new reservers, not existing ones already in the queue. You will notice that the IDEX module is not available to purchase just yet. We're just giving it the final polishes before we start ramping production. But do not worry, as you saw, it's super easy to upgrade an existing machine to IDEX. No rebuild is necessary whatsoever and the upgrades are going to be coming out very, very soon. As the next incentive for you to place a reservation right now, on the next Retri TV episode, we're going to look at our reservation queue and we're going to select five people randomly to offer an IDEX upgrade free of charge, so make sure to place your reservation right now. There's going to be a lot of new content coming out over the next few weeks about vCore 4. Just this Saturday, the 4th of May, we're gonna have a live stream on Twitch by Chaos Drucker with Pinky from our dev team as a guest. He's going to be showing you everything there is to know about the new IDEX system on the vCore 4, including RATOS 2.1. We have really some cool stuff there that you really want to check out. Uh, the stream is going to be in German, but I'm told they'll try to make it as inclusive as possible to English speakers. And there's going to be some members of our dev team on the chat box as well, so make sure to not miss it, as there will also be some giveaways. Until next time, my name is Sonat, and this has been Rhetoric TV.